idea that if you put her into a 2v2 or a lane swap scenario, she's going to perform fairly well either Snake way. Snake still with slight gold advantage. Now looking to try and siege here in the mid lane. And this moment here, this is bad oh, for Snake. Exactly right, as Crystal might be caught out. Fantastic knockup comes in from Wusheng as the flash comes in. There's the Empress Dividers Republic in the wrong position. Jay-Z not quite able to get the Tempo paid in time. As it does lock down Republic, he's going to fall. ZZR grabs the kill. All of Snake have now made it here into this fight as Flandre. Now possibly on the back foot as Snake still looking for a way in. Still so punishing though. The big thing... Mm. Yeah, Flandre is going to get stunned. He could get bursted out. Flashes out of the way as Wushank still looking for more. Burrows under. There's the flash. Jay-Z going to get locked down as Pentagu grabs himself the kill. Tank on this red buff and GT. Now pressuring things out. Flandre actually twisted advances his way in looking for Wushang. As Tank is going to make his way over the top. ZZR lands a cocoon. Gimgoon might be in trouble right now as the knockup comes in. Crystal able to get some work done, but Jay-Z is going to fall down. So much damage from this victor. As now Tank, he's well and truly out of position. Glides. Yeah, help me, but it's the right idea. As Pentaq tries to take down Tank, he's looking for the Emperor's Divide. Doesn't actually have it. Pentaq is going to fall down. Jay-Z actually picks up that killer's Crystal. Trying to kite this one around. Savoki in trouble. Crystal explodes him. Now using the rocket jump reset in order to try and find Republic. There's the Void Rush, the Scream comes in, Wushang's very, very tank. Flank here for an Umburrow on some of the carries. That Pink Ward does fall down, Wushang, oh my goodness, Jay-Z, they found him out. He may actually be caught completely out of position here, but does have a lot of health. Parallel Convergence is going to be rocket jumped out of the way of Gimgoon. Now trying to do some work, the Teleport coming in from Fandre. He has a brilliant position for this, as Pentaq, he's... Completely in no man's land. Fandre explodes him. Chaos Storm doing so much work though to the back line of Snake. ZZR in trouble. Crystal takes down Wushang. Gimgoon on top of Tank as Crystal just jumps on Republic. The Exhaust did so much work. It's a double kill now as Savoki. Nope. No red buff. Crystal not going to be able to find it. He's going to he try to fight this. Yeah, Savoki in there as well. Parallel Convergence comes down. Fandre says, I just don't care about what you're trying to do. ZZR is out of the pit, though. That's no smite. Oh, goodness. Yep, Savoki is going to fall down. Gimgoon as well. He gets jumped on. One more auto, couple more autos. There it is, and it's going to be Jay-Z that locks that one down. Pretty sure it was the ace, but Pentaq is now back alive. Not going to be able to make it towards his Baron in time, I don't think, though. As Snake looking to try and get there. Oh, Wushang, though. He's going to be able to get there. You have a TP coming from Republic as well. Republic is just about to spawn. Here oh comes the TP. Oh, my goodness. This is the most extended team fight ever. Baron is doing a lot of work here for GT at the same time. Rocket Jump comes in. Magical Journey is going to get Snake to relative safety. But may have actually delivered a Baron to GT. Super low health. Tank's rushing there. What can he do against the Smite? Yep. Flandre's over the top. Oh my god, that was cool. Oh Every my goodness. Time. Welcome, Wushang. As we're looking for a cosmic binding here. Savoki's gonna nail it. There's Tank right under this one. Magical Journey is gonna get followed. And Snake grab the pick. Wushang, the guy that's always been where he needs buff here is GT. They're already grouped up. And that's the only TP available for Snake as Flandre finds the re-engage. Yeah, already right in there on top of the Rek'Sai. Maybe not the target they're looking for as they do have a fair bit of damage. Gravity Field comes in. There's a Twisted Advance one more time as Crystal actually may be opened up because Flandre now slightly out. Jay-Z gets caught out. Doesn't quite have the ability to get the work done, but my god, the... Oh, how is he still alive? This is ridiculous. Fandre right in the middle of the flight. Rocket Jump comes down. Crystal chasing after Gimgoon. It's a double kill already for Pentaq, though, as Crystal. He's going to get knocked up. Parallel Convergence doesn't get the stun. Crystal, how is he still alive? Rocket Jump's out, but he's going to die. And Tank is going to fall as well. Snake completely with the team fight. That's going to be the last tick of the poison. I have a feeling that's game. We head into game number three. Gimgoon just happy to tank up these turrets. Nexus turrets now under fire. Wu Shang is going to get under there. Savoki now as well, helping out. And this Nexus is going to fall. Congratulations to GT. Pick up their first victory here in the LPL. And we are heading to game number three one more time. Phenomenal job from GT right there, particularly Republic.